Konnichiwa. Welcome back to Earth to Rocco. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to make your very own maki rolls. Maki refers to a type of sushi that involves rolling ingredients in rice and seaweed. The term maki literally means roll in Japanese. A lot of people might call these maki rolls sushi, but sushi actually refers to the vinegared rice that goes inside the maki. You'd be surprised how easy it is to create your own maki. And you can get as creative with it as you want by stuffing it with any vegetables you have in the fridge. And by making it yourself, you're guaranteed a fresh roll every time. One thing I like to do is to prepare some extra sushi rice to create fresh maki rolls throughout the week. While a lot of versions of maki use raw fish, we're keeping it vegan today by just using fresh vegetables. We're gonna start by cooking the rice, so let's head over to the stove. So we need to start preparing the rice for our maki. I'm using sushi rice. Sushi rice should be very easy to find, but if you can't, you can use any type of short grain white or brown rice. This rice has a higher starch content, which makes the rice stickier, which helps to form your maki rolls a lot better. I'm gonna be following the package directions to make six servings of this sushi rice. So I've rinsed two and a quarter cups of sushi rice, and I'm gonna add it to three cups of water in the pot. So the package says to allow the water to come to a boil and then we're gonna lower it and simmer it for about 12 minutes. Then we're gonna let it sit for five minutes in the pot. Our sushi rice has completely finished cooking so now I'm gonna transfer it to a mixing bowl. It's perfectly sticky. I'm gonna add a little bit of rice vinegar. some sugar to add a little bit of sweetness and also to help it stick together. And a pinch of salt. We'll mix it all up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spread the rice out to the edges of the bowl to help it cool a bit quicker. Before we start assembling our sushi, we're just gonna let this cool for about five minutes. Now that our sushi rice is cooled, it's time to assemble our maki rolls. I'm using a bamboo maki roller, which makes it a lot easier to assemble the rolls. I have a nori sheet here, and I'm gonna put the glossy side face down. With a wet spoon, I'm gonna take some sushi rice and spread it out on the nori sheet. So we want about half an inch thickness and we're gonna spread it out three quarters up the nori sheet. I'm gonna put some thinly sliced cucumber. You wanna just place it below the center. I also steamed some carrot and thinly sliced it. I'm gonna put some green onion. and some avocado. Now we're ready to roll. Hold the vegetables in place with your finger and grab the edge of the bamboo roller. You wanna make sure you're rolling this nice and tight. So now we'll lift the bamboo again and continue to roll. And there you go. So we're gonna place this on a plate with the folded edge down and let it sit for about five minutes to let the moisture seal everything together. In the meantime, we'll make some more. My maki rolls have been sitting for about five minutes and now it's time to cut into them. Use a really sharp knife for this, but be careful not to cut yourself. I'm gonna cut the maki rolls into one inch pieces. My favorite thing to dip sushi in is vegan sriracha mayo. That's super fresh and super delicious. And it was really fun to make. I hope you enjoyed learning how to create your own maki rolls at home. I hope I proved to you that it's much easier than you thought. If you liked today's video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with my latest vegan recipes. Head on over to earthtorocco.com for the ingredients and instructions for today's recipe and more. Sayonara.